And it talks about how the hinds calf, how the cedar is broken, and, and all the things that transpire. That's a profound, profound display of the majesty of his voice when it speaks to you. And all every one of those verses is prophetic. I don't have time to tell you all of them, but they all speaks, and they have a symbolism. Amen? Amen. Ch ch when God speaks, it's not no idle chatter. He has a creative purpose. And even if he's not creating, he's recreating. So he's restoring. Amen? Can we agree with that? Amen. Okay. Our biggest test will be found in our ability to choose truth over what life is throwing at us. Your biggest test. Anybody ever been in a fork in your life? Mm -hmm. In a fork, not a little bit of a fork, I'm just saying, between, hall between two billion, mm -hmm. you have to choose the side with God or stay on the side of your own. Yes. Anybody ever been there? Come on, give me a hand. Yes. All right, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Just making sure I'm still in the right building. <laughs> but yeah, your biggest test is going to, you're going to have to choose what life is throwing at you. You're going to choose, am I going to stand up for truth? Am I going to let my flesh keep talking to me and lead me another way? Am I going to allow my imagination to to sit as God, to exalt his step above everything that is God. Remember, that's what we're doing on Sundays. Mm -hmm. The brightness of his coming won't allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't exalt yourself over God. You submit to God. You submit to his word and the devil flees. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you, if you're wrestling with what what the truth is, then it's probably some deeper things going on. Hmm. And let me just say, truth is not doctrine. Truth is a person. Yeah. Come on. Nice. Yeah. So we got we got a whole bunch of forty thousand dollars forty thousand dollars. Forty oh, come on, tell me now. Forty thousand denominations. <laughs> I felt Leroy come up on me. <laughs> Money coming. But for forty thousand forty thousand denominations are are based on the supposition of truth. It's subjective truth. God wants to bring us to a point, a point of absolute truth. Yes. And absolute truth comes out of intimacy. Yes. Please hear that. Mm -hmm. Anything of value, anything soluble, which means anything that brings stability to your life is going to come out of intimacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can sit here and speculate. I can sit here and share truths, toss terms around, mm -hmm. and it could just be in the air, never land in your heart. But when you get intimate, you hear his voice through what I'm saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the imagination and then the deeds will cease. Amen. And the bottle will happen. Yeah. Amen. And it won't even be a big shindig. It won't be horns and whistles and skyrockets. Yeah. You can hear the gentle voice. You can hear his voice speaking to you in your moment. Giving you the tenacity and the strength and encouragement to rise up. And it come on now, y'all. Y'all like, yo, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this is what it's, it belongs to us. He yes. said, "My sheep hear my voice, and I what? I know them, and what happened? So now, I don't, not only do I communicate with them, but out of my communication, there's a level of intimacy. Yes. And then at that level of intimacy, we say, I know them. He says, now there's a reaction. They follow me. Yes. You can't just say, I'm my sheep. I belong to God. He's my Lord and Savior." But then you're not intimate with them. Mm -hmm. And it's cold love. The church has cold mm -hmm. love. As it relates to God. Mm -hmm. Your love, your walk should be an indication of your love. Yes. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your reaction to what God is saying should be known in your walk. Mm -hmm. So as Jesus told him, he said, you are known by their fruits. Mm -hmm. Right? Did he say that? Mm -hmm. He basically telling you you're known by their works. Mm -hmm. Or you know by their walk. All of them did the same thing. Said a different way. So we can sit around and we can try to get apostolic, prophetic, kingdom, deliverance, deep life, uh, Melchizedek, all the terms. Stuff I long to share, but I can't. I do. I long to say, hey, look, man, let's go over here and look at the king priest order and all this other stuff. Talk about immortality. That belongs to us. I don't want to lay again the foundation of dead works. That's what he said in Hebrews 6, right? Mm -hmm. But a repentance towards God, I'd rather have that 
Share. I want to share the light and say, this is the way. Walk ye in it. But the little things, the imaginations, the high things, the stuff that you think you're, you're striking out against me and my government and my leadership, you're not striking against me, you're striking against him and what he's a